unbelievable BBC footage of the National Broadcasting Network government run over there. Taxpayers have to pay money just to even have a television, even if you don't subscribe to BBC. Talk about Big Brother having his brainwashing in place. They're trying to launch the race war there, saying soccer players should take a knee and hate British history when the British system was the first government to outlaw slavery and fought over 50 countries. It was insane to end slavery, including the United States. We think the War of 1812 was about. So it's just next level. And the Germans are joining as well. I mean, this is just all about hating your country. But, oh, who's pushing it? The big corporate media owned by globalists. And then coming up, leftist Harvard professor, this is the Democrats in general, outlines plan to impeach Trump, install Hillary as president. That's on Newswars.com and Infowars.com. By the intrepid Steve Watson. Now let's get to the rest of the story on Russiagate. And the reason I'm going to be cleared about who really broke this first and where is not about credit. It's about understanding the media cover-up and why Hillary and others went after Trump for what they themselves had done. Here's the article up on Infowars.com. TikTok, huge story on Hillary, Russia, set to drop tonight. Hannity teases bombshell expose. I want to be clear. Hannity is a lot of great investigative journalism, has the ear of the president like no one else in media, does a great job, has a lot of courage. I don't want to sit here and say this is not new news to put Hannity down. Everybody should watch tonight. Again, I hope 300 million people tune in. Instead of his customary four or five million, that's the record show on cable. But we broke this with Roger Stone early 2016. We hammered it. We did hundreds of shows, hundreds of articles to where I was asking Roger to stop writing articles about it. I said, I know the Russia thing's bull, but, but why are we obsessing on it? And we're going to go over some of those articles here in just a moment. But, but you can go back to not just us, because I'd love to say we broke it first. We broke it last year during the campaign with new information. But if you want to know who broke it all first, 2015, the New York Times. Now, what Hannity's breaking and what the Hill's breaking, the Hill's gone to Hannity and said they broke this. The Hill that spends half their time attacking yours truly and Trump. Really a nasty bag of folks over there. But the point is is that they know that's not working now. They're giving up on the Clintons, so now they're trying to run up underneath Fox News' skirts. But we broke all this. That's not the story. I have to explain that first so people understand that the news knew this. And that's why they went along with the Russian narrative, because Hillary got 30-plus million dollars. The Podestas did. They sold out gas pipelines, uranium, uh, weapons, uh, top components for jet fighters, missiles. This has been in the news for years. This is what the Clinton Foundation was, was a place for the Chinese communists and the Russians and the EU and anybody else that had money to come get our secrets and to get Hillary as Secretary of State to sign orders getting around Congress with a little known law where she can, as Secretary of State, let banned weapons and systems with a waiver transfer to that country. So... Again, this is all old news, but now it's breaking again because there's the headline, FBI uncovered Russian bribery plot before Obama administration approved controversial nuclear deal with Moscow. And that's what's important. That's the big takeaway, is that what we're now confirming, we already had pieces of, but it's triple confirmed. We're going to go over it in a moment. Obama's Justice Department with Loretta Lynch and the illegal tarmac meetings and all the rest of it with Bill Clinton killed the investigation, not only of Hillary's servers before she ever talked to Comey, and he lied to the public and said the investigation was ongoing when he'd closed it and she had the letters that are posted on Infowars.com today. They killed the investigation. Then they had a fake investigation after when Hillary knew there was no real investigation. She partook in the farce. 
It's simply incredible. So now what's new? More information about how the FBI was investigating the uranium deal because there was political pressure on it. It was already open and shut. And then that investigation got killed, just like Jay Johnson's investigation got killed, along with the FBI's investigation, of the servers that were fully wide open to not just the Pakistanis, but many other foreign governments. And again, Jay Johnson said, covering his own butt, CYA, that he was ordered to stop the investigation and not allowed in 20 plus times when they tried to get into it. So you're going to hear all that tonight. You heard it here a year and a half ago. And you heard it in the New York Times in 2015. And that shows you how long this has been going on and why Podesta and his brother, both up to their eyeballs with the Russians, day one put the Russian narrative on Trump because they had to change the subject. It's a classic tactic. The good news is more and more Trump's getting some control over the Justice Department and so the chickens are coming home to roost and it's a beautiful time to be alive. But TikTok, you now know what happened. Let's go over some of the evidence. The Hill today. FBI uncovered Russian bribery plot before Obama administration approved controversial nuclear deal with Moscow. And later the investigation got shut down. It's a big long report. Kickbacks, pay to play, extortion threats, because once Hillary and her people took the money, the Russians started putting the screws to them like any other government does. You don't think we don't do that over there in Russia? Under real detente, that would stop, and it could be stopped. But the Cold War never really ended. Uh, here's the New York Times, just so you know. Okay, here is uh, October 17th today, The Hill. Here's the New York Times. June 21st, 2017, Obama White House knew of Russia election hacking, but delayed telling. That's Obama ordering the investigation killed. You can read into the article where Obama ordered the investigation killed during the election. Oh, but he was mad about it and knew about Trump. He wasn't mad at Trump. He was covering for the Democrats. Now, April 23rd, 2015, New York Times. Cash flowed to Clinton Foundation amid Russian uranium deal. There it is. Boom. I just learned about that today, my goodness. In the, the Hill? My goodness, what a big major breaking story. It's so amazing. Maybe we'll learn that Trump is the president as well tomorrow from them. Uh, here it is, Jay Johnson, Politico, Jay Johnson. DNC did not want DHS help following election hack. You actually read deeper when he testified to Congress. We can play the clip if you'd like us. He, they, they said, you're not allowed in without a warrant. They were blocked from getting in. Because they're not all criminals in the Justice Department and the FBI. Here it is. FBI finally admits it has a bunch of documents about Bill Clinton's tarmac meeting with Loretta Lynch. They lied about it. Comey lied about it. Boom. Town Hall. Isn't that just special? Comey. We've republished this because there's new documents out now. Comey planned to end Clinton investigation. Again, Comey planned to end Clinton investigation months before interviewing Hillary and let her know in the document. Screenshot, please. Here are the documents, and with him letting them know that they were already had killed the investigation two months before he talked to her, and she was let known that information. Total proof of organized crime, racketeering, obstruction of justice, absconding with evidence, absconding with witnesses, colluding with them, fixing testimony, involved in criminal conspiracies. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on, and we have them if we simply route them and clean up this nest of disgusting, filthy, creepy criminals, including the Republican leadership as well. We can have our country back and add prosperity back. We won't be perfect, but we won't be fully run by a criminal conspiracy trying to transfer power to a world government, setting up judicial exemption for themselves to escape justice.